Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome to a brand new series in a game called Guild of Dungeoneering. Guild of Dungeoneering is a turn-based dungeon crawler with a twist. Instead of controlling the hero, you build the dungeon around him. Use the cards drawn from your guild's deck as you lay down rooms, monsters, traps, and a loot for your little hero to wander through. Uh, the game kind of is a combination to me of maybe Binding of Isaac mixed with Carcassonne of board game fame, and then throw in some Legend of Grimrock, um, kind of the, the old dungeon crawler sort of thing with the tiles. Uh, top down, you'll, you'll get to see it in a little bit here. Uh, the game is developed by Gambrinos and published by Versus Evil, who were kind enough to send me a key. I played for about two, two hours tonight. Um, in this version, you can see it's a little bit early. The game does release on July 14th for $15, uh, but I am playing a little bit of an early version of that. Uh, it was a Kickstarter game back from April of 2014, which I first played it there. I wasted many a lunch break trying to trying to make my way through the dungeons, and it wasn't totally finished, but it was a really cool concept, so I kept it on my radar for, uh, I guess, a year and a half now? Year? Year and a couple months? So what's going to happen is I'm going to let a little ditty play, kind of the intro song, and then we're going to go right away here into the um, main gameplay. So here we go. This is the Guild of Dungeoneering On a quest for never fearing Or to be a Dungeoneer Swimming in pools of gold This is the Guild of Dungeoneering All the monsters keep appearing Or to be a Dungeoneer Whose stories will be told What's that sound? I hear a noise Something's coming, girls and boys We're up in the hills and far away So I thought that little ditty was kind of fun, but uh, let's get to the real gameplay, which is a lot more fun. You can see here I'm going to overwrite slot number one, and we're going to go into another ditty. This is the Guild of Dungeoneering all across the land. They're cheering, oh, to be a Dungeoneer, chasing fame and glory. I like it. I like the little singing. Anytime you unlock something new, uh, someone sings you a little song. Anyway, this is the backstory. The Ivy League of Explorers, the noblest, most virtuous guild in the land. Mm, those insufferable jerks. I'll show them. They won't think me so grossly incompetent when I have my own guild. I bought a small hall in the bad part of town, and with the gold I borrowed from them. I've staked out a dungeon that's ripe for the picking. I've even found a chump who can do all the dirty work while I sit back and watch the coins roll in. Like my father always told me, there's always someone stupider than yourself. Well, he never really said it to me. Actually, he said it to everyone but me. Huh. Oh well. Continue on. All right. So the game's going to kind of welcome us to the guild. It's going to go through a little handhold here, and I think it's going to interrupt, interrupt me talking. Uh, but we need to start a dungeon by putting a barracks. This is the barracks. These are the cards. You can see it's kind of, it looks like almost uh, a colored pencil on like graph paper. I think it's really cool. And you can put in these anywhere you want to, but once you place them down, they're good to go. All right. The one that's always left behind. The solitary lump. The pawn whose fodder for the grind. The sorry little chump. Alright. <laughs> the chumps are the first guys you get to use. And this is going to be Blitzet, because uh, it appears to be a female. Anyway, the posters must be working since we put down a... Uh, close. We put down a barracks and we got our first chump in. We can expand our guild to gain new dungeoneers and abilities. But first, try going on an adventure. I like adventuring. That's through the explorers menu down here. Alright. Perfect. If we go down here to the new area, this is the first little area we get to go to, and it is the uh, rat cave. Rats, how original, rat cellar, I guess. Squeak, squeak, everyone's got to start somewhere. So let's take Blitzette into this dungeon and see what we can find. Ooh, all right, our objective is to defeat three monsters. We have, oh, I'll play the first turn for you. It's easy, I can just throw the mouse away and it's good to go. So they moved up. I put the little hallway in, threw in the rubber ducky, and I put in some loot for us to grab too. That looks like a bit like a gold coin. Perfect. 
So Blitzet's gonna jump up there, go into the, the gold coin room with the rubber ducky, and now we have to fight. So these are the cards, the card battle. Uh, it is stupid, so we scratch our head, but we have eyes closed punch. This reminds me of like a fourth grader trying to trying to punch someone. He's got his face, his hand over his face to protect his nose and trying to punch, and it doesn't work so good. So we'll just do the lucky hit. That's gonna give us two physical damage to go against his card there. Ooh, but it gets a headbutt for two physical damage and uh, one hit point removed from them. So if we hit with the eyes closed punch and it does one damage to itself, it kills the rubber ducky. Aha, so we gain uh, an item now. We get to choose some loot, so we can get a wooden stool, a fork, or a pigeon nest. Or we can just take gold, and a gold to give us another card to drop down in the next level. So this one, we can get any of those three. Uh, bash, a repeal, or this one is a slice. That's a two physical damage. And then the rekindle is one magic damage and one hit point. Let's just use the fork right away. We're gonna do that. That's great. Okay, dokey. So we have more cards, we have a go. What we need to do is we need to connect, we need to defeat the three monsters. So there's one, two, three, but we already have one. So if I put in a mysterious fountain into the hallway, and let's just throw a giant bat in there. Uh oh, fountain of stupidity, that's not good. Well, we're gonna fight the bat in the fountain of stupidity. In the same room as the fountain of stupidity. That'll give us a debuff for a little bit. Let's get it over with. You go for it, Blitzhead. It's a loner. Loner gives it negative one hit point on a dead end. Ooh, but it's gonna hit us with a bite that is unblockable. So let's just counter that with our lucky hit to get two physical damage, drop his hit points down, and I guess we'll just keep punching away. Swinging violently at a bat. Ooh, this one. This one is a magic damage, but plus one hit point per damage dealt. So let's uh, block that damage so it doesn't regenerate its hit points. Nothing happens and it is going to block one physical damage by doing one magic damage. So if we do two physical damage, that should kill it outright. And I can get more loot. I sure can. Paper crown, ruffled shirt. Ooh, sounds good. So we can draw an additional card if we use that. Or we can get a twig, but if I get the twig, then uh, I lose what I already have. Or I can wear the paper crown, which is kind of a, you block one damage and heal up one point. So it's kind of a neat item. We can use that up. That'll go into the head slot. And this is what I really like. So yeah, she actually has the fork in here and the crown on her little avatar thing. I think that's really cool. We can continue putting down more pieces like this. We could just do that and put more critters in there. Doesn't really matter. And after you end your turn, the cards that you have in your hand disappear anyway. So if we jump up here, we'll get it over with. She'll jump up in that room. We'll fight the little rat again. And we have fountains. That bad fountain? What did that give us for a debuff? Can't tell. Oh, the stupidity. Yep, that hurts. So unblockable bite. Let's punch blindly. This thing's got quite a few hit points. Um, let's block that. I don't want to disc... Oh, I could have actually done that because I would have discarded and potentially discard that. So let's butt punch again. If I can do one for one damage, we'll be fine. Or this one. I can block it and gain a hit point up. Perfect. Uh-oh. We're getting really stupid now. We'll just uh, take a pass at that one. Aha! A double damage. Kabamo. And one more. That should kill the rat. Hopefully that fountain goes away now. And we are gonna read. Okay, there we go. We got the three things. Oh, we gained sixty. Rah, a victory! That was so quick, you made it look easy. Another happy tale in our short story, if not a little bit violent, and not for the queasy. Haha. Uh -huh. Cool. So we're back here at the main hall again. We can go exploring again, but we have sixty currencies things, so we can expand the guild. We can do a lot of things here. There are three tiers that you can see here, or we can do uh, each of these different trees too. We have the loot, magic, and might. Might is physical, magic is um, like fire damage, and then the loot is opening up more items to unlock during the gameplay. What I want to do is gain this one, the Talisman of the Trickster. And what this does is it gives plus one loot choice slot after first two fights. I kind of like that one. 
Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and buy that one right away. And these talismans are always eclipsed if we go exploring again. So all of the loot that we picked up on the last dungeon does not carry over with us. We have to start it all over again. So we squeak, squeak, we get the rat pack. Defeat the rat king, yeah. So we have the plus one loot choice slot after the first two fights. That should work out nicely. Perfect. So blitz that's down here. We have a bunch of different things here. There's the room, that one. We need to get up to here to fight the rat king. He's got seven. He's armed, irritable, feral, and got the leader talent. But we don't have anything yet because we don't have any items on us. So one nice thing to do is to kind of level up a little bit before you get too far on. So we'll level up against this nasty little rat here. And we need a four-way door for that. Can't put that there because the tiles don't line up. Much like Carcassonne, like I said before, you actually have to line up the different lines on things. So we'll do this. We'll end the turn. We're going to go up and attack this rat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I can take it. Do it then, Bloodset. Attack. Perfect. Over here. Three up. Ooh. Let's not let's not discard right away. I kinda like having additional cards. We can do the lucky hit. Take away two of your hit points. A blight bite that is unblockable. We're one up already. Let's just keep we'll keep doing this. And hopefully it doesn't get a two damage attack. It shouldn't, because it's out of cards already. And we'll just attack. I should take care of it. I don't care if we lose a card, because we're already done. And we got an additional loot slot. So we can get that one again, or we can get the wooden stool. Or the pigeon nest. Pigeon nest is pretty cool. So you get one magic damage plus one hit point. I like that one. That's a, a helmet, for some strange reason. Ooh, a gold coin. Throw that in here. Ooh, let's put the corridor up in here, too. And let's see. I think we can just through... Hey! Throw that one up there. Okay, so our dungeon is ready to go. We used up our three cards. And... Battle three. Let's cower. Block that hit. Smack him dead. Keep smacking him. Maybe I'll get that. Oh, there's the rekindle. Let's block this one since we can, and then we'll rekindle the next one. Uh-oh. Well then. Ah, let's just do the that hit, the lucky hit. Oh, and it took the other one. Good, so we can use this one up. Doesn't really matter, but we'll do it anyway. We get our hit point back, and we still beat the thingy. So we can get the fork, gives us a slice. We can get a cuppa, which uh, gives two magic damage in the offhand or an armor. This is a pretty good defense. These things don't hit too hard, so it's not too bad. Uh, let's go with the cup. Well, let's take that. And we should get the gold. We got the little cup of tea in our offhand. It's really neat. Ah, it's not good. So let's take, let's take on a nasty little rat in this one. You can see we're actually walking up that way. But we have to go through that room. That's not too good in this turn. If I really wanted to, I'd path around here and then come back, but I don't think I can change the way he's walking. So let's just take out this little rat and see what we can do. Hmm. We'll block the Neurotoxin. Uh, we'll just hit him. I really want to level up. Ah, lucky hit. Perfect. And Fire Blast, using that cup of to burn him up. Very good. Mission complete. So we have the Pigeon Nest, we have the Crown, or we have the Stool. That's not good, we don't need any of these things. Because they're, wait, that's the helmet, isn't it? We already had that on, so we got the Gold Pouch. So let's throw that Gold Pouch in there. I think that's how it works, or I totally just misclicked. And I feel dumb for doing that. So let's end the turn. Jump up into that room. Shiny. Ratman. Lucky hit. Fire blast. Oh, it's going to do damage to itself. 
for using the headbutt. And then, I guess we could just block it and it'll kill itself. Oopsies. Ah, tattered mail. Oh boy. Ooh, a sparkly headband. Wow. I've not seen that item yet. I guess we could do that. It gets rid of our rekindle. Or we can get the mail, because that's plus one hit points. And plus we get a repeal on it. We'll do that. Neato. Let's put in a guy. We'll put in you in here. We'll end that turn. I, I do want to try to level up. We are going to get this thing, though. For the boss fight. So we got an additional hit point up there. Oh, she looks mean now. Look at this. Repeal. That's great. We're going to block three physical damage while they're doing two physical damage. Still damages itself, so that's a good thing. Uh, they're going to block physical. So let's do the rekindle. I should only do one hit point. We'll block the head blow. Don't want to discard. Anger. That's going to do three damage. I'll take it. Then we should get... Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> we can use the stupidity and still kill it. Whatevs. We still win. Ooh, male coif. Coif? I don't know how to say that. Cough? A glyph for the offhand. Or the sparkly headband. So we lose the fire blast to get this. Nah. Or we can lose that. Or we can just get loot. Which do we want? I kind of want this thing. Yeah, let's take this. I still don't have a main hand weapon. That's okay. Gold pouch. We'll throw that in the boss's room. And doesn't really matter what else we can do. We don't need to play any more cards. The cards do get discarded, so you get new cards every turn. Is that is that a gold pouch? I hope so. The Rat King versus Blitzet. So it's got conceal. Ooh, play a battle card face down. It's kind of kind of cheaty. Okay, he doesn't have any surrounding minions, so that's okay. And fountains. Monster gains conceal. Ah, that's how he gets to conceal. So let's use the flame leech. Ooh, ouch. I guess we'll, we'll just try to... Oh, wow. Try to blitz him. Let's uh, do this. Repeal. I <laughs> couldn't even block that one. Wow. Cower. Hey, we did a good one. Oh, block again. Yes. So we gained one, he lost one. Give me, give me the lucky hit. Please don't block it. I did it. We killed the boss. Being concealed. Level up and hit point. Well now, this is just really quite surprising. Thanks to you, I've lost a wager. Against all odds, you're surviving. Next time, I hope you find more danger. Ooh, a trophy room. Where should we put the trophy room? Let's do that right up here. We got... The Rat King's oh, Tale. All this doom and gloom of all the places you've wrecked. It's nice to have a big trophy room. A place to quietly reflect. Very good. So, uh, now what we can do is we can expand the guild. We have 84 money, 84 gold. We could use that to hire additional people. We could get the mime. Or we can unlock more loot, too. These are kind of cool. These items, I think what it does is unlocks it for the loot table in the dungeon. So you had those those higher and better weapons and items at the end of the dungeon. I'm not sure why, but this uh, this unlocks a different character. has different skills they start with. Same with the uh, training yard bruiser here. So I'm going to close that, and we're going to unlock, I guess, the blacksmith first. Let's take that. And he unlocks the soldier's helmet, scimitar, scale mail, and mace. I think that's how it works. Or we can do this one. What do you unlock? Leather bound tome. Offhand. Smells like boots. Armor too. Mage robes. Wolf. Pet. Pelt. Ha! Or the woodworker. Gives us a hand axe. Blade crush. Arcane growth. 
Swift 2 or a shield. Fire 2. Huh. That must be defense against fire. And this has weird items in it, like a troll femur. These are offhands. Daisy chain. How sweet. Hums with power and masquerade mask. I don't know. Uh, let's go for let's go for this one. We'll go with the blacksmith. We'll buy that right now. And now we can put down the blacksmith somewhere. We'll put that over on this wing of the the dungeon. And I tell you what, <sighs> I kind of want to keep these each individually. We'll look at it. Um, we'll look at it here. What's this? There's more. A whole world to explore. Why there's gold to be found and treasure in store. But what's the point? You're all hit and miss. It's so plain to see. You're not cut out for this. Oh boy. Ugh, if I never heard another story about clearing out rats, it won't be too soon. My employees did return with some interesting rumors from the Rat King, though. There was mention of a magic orb. An orb of noisiness. It's exactly the kind of thing I could use to keep an eye on the Ivy Ivory League. I'll need all the help I can get if I'm going to take them down a pig. The rumors point to more dungeons out in the grasslands. I'll search there first. Ha! What am I saying? I'm not stepping a foot in the place. That's what I have the chumps for. And if they don't want to do it, there's plenty more who are eager to join a guild. I've also decided that from now on we'll be known as the Guild of Dungeoneering. Either that or the Guild of the Ivory League of Explorers is stupid. I can't decide which looks better on our letterhead. Huh. So this is what it unlocked. We have these three new locations that we can go to. I played one of them. I think it was this one that I played. Uh, we can do these other ones next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little bit of a series, a uh, little bit of the video today. If you did, go ahead and check out the links down below in the video description for the game when it is released on Steam. And stick around for much more of this series as well. So, keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.